Well, good afternoon, everybody. Naughty Beaver. I am inspired today. I mean inspired. I uh, think two of the truth communities to... Uh, I'm going to make a, a prophecy prediction, if you will. How about that? Let's get down to business. Now, I recorded a lengthy show on the reptilian matrix hack. Again, things that are a little bit too hot for the public. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it up a notch, Naughty Beaver style. Now, I want you guys to check out. This is the final days. This lady used to do, I think it was like, not Mary Greeley, but she had her own channel. She closed it and changed it. Now, I want you just to listen to a couple of minutes of what she has discovered here on the FAA cams and see what she has to say. Welcome to the final days. Today is March 29, 2019. Today we are going to see a full moon on a night when it should have only been three quarters full. We will also see huge lightning bolts shooting down from the sun onto a celestial body between the sun and the earth. Additionally, we will watch a video of two suns setting in Alaska, a strange disappearing sun, and several other sky anomalies not mentioned on mainstream news. The purpose of this channel is to show the viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible, and to explain why this is actually good news and cause for celebration, explained later in this video. See, I like your attitude. Bible says we're all going to die and we should be happy, and I am. I know it's bizarre, but I'm crazy, whatever. Most of these unedited images were obtained yesterday, March 28, from the Federal Aviation Weather Cameras in Alaska and Canada. Some were from a few days ago. For those of you who are new, these images are 10 minutes apart, forming a time-lapse video when strung together. Jesus talks about the last days in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, when he says that we will see signs in the sky. Before we look at the full moon that was viewed from Alaska four days ago in the very early morning of March 25th, here is a moon chart showing how the moon should have looked that morning. As you can see, a quarter of the moon should have been dark. Surprisingly, instead of three quarters moon, the south facing camera in Ketchikan, British Columbia in Canada, shows a full moon crossing the sky in the very early morning hours. After the moon rises, we see the sun crossing the sky. Then, just at noontime, we see a purple beam shooting downward from the sky. Last year, we saw this same purple beam on lots of FAA cameras. These are biblical signs of the last days. Um, could also be the LCD matrix breaking down at the same time. Strips of reality missing, guys. Why are they perfectly straight like that? I would say a digital error, if anything, but unfortunately I'm seeing those same things out of the corner of my eye. Not, uh, not proving anything one way or another. Unfortunately, the matrix concept to the divine light matrix, I'll point again, it's not like a cheesy program, but those are the signs. Cameras catching uh, linear strips of breakdown perfectly straight. As above, so below. The matrix, just like your television, which you're looking at crystals. I know it kind of takes away from God here a bit, but we're, we're going to bring that back into the picture. Let's take a look. Here is another full moon viewed from the south-facing camera in Harris River Pass, Alaska. In this footage, we see the same bell-shaped object that we see in hundreds of daytime images during eclipses of the sun. These next few frames show a crescent on the moon shifting from the left side of the moon to the right side as the bell-shaped object keeps pointing at the moon. As the moon and the bell-shaped object cross paths, notice that the bell is always pointing toward the face of the moon, almost as if it is projecting a light onto the moon as it passes by. The darker crescent shape begins on the left side of the moon. As the moon crosses paths with the bell-shaped object, the crescent moon disappears. Then it begins to reappear on the right side of the moon. As we go through these frames, it almost appears as if the bell-shaped object is projecting a light onto the moon. Here is the bell-shaped equipment used during the day to conceal a total eclipse. 
This footage is from the Sitka, Alaska camera in December 2017. It shows a complete solar eclipse occurring. And again, in her image, you can see the strips of reality falling out from the sun. And the bell-shaped object is present. The same thing that we've been tracking for a long time. Now, what's the significance of this? Now you guys are understanding why you're seeing crosses on the moon. The, the, every other night is a full moon. You're like, what the hell, right? The chart just says it's never changed in all of human recorded history. But now she's got the proof that I've had and many others have had for a long time. There's something changing the lighting. It's deflecting light. Why? Because our sun is dying. Ergo, the yellow sun, the red waning sun, and the white sun. Ooh. Now, you got to think. So you're using technology for something. I'm going to go back to Mr. B from what I had showed you guys before. Now, I'm going to go ahead in this video. This is one I've never released to the public, and this is from Mr. MBB333. This is what was caught. This perfectly round light, the same width as the moon, covering this red moon that we shouldn't have. That the moon was like white. And to him, he thought it was a camera anomaly. The camera didn't photograph it properly. It's impossible. What he caught was the moon falling out of sync with the spotlight. Just going to try and show you here. Do you see what you're seeing? It's Hollywood theatrics gone wrong. This is why people are seeing like a double. It looks like the moon has a friggin' shielding system on it now when you guys look. Yeah, yeah, I see two moons. I see this red thing. Yeah, it's because we have two moons. So let me put the pieces of the puzzle together. So you're catching it. You see it now. It's a, it's a white spotlight covering the moon using technology. The spotlight, the old lighting master of the Hollywood show, fell asleep. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the satellite fell out of sync with the moon, people. Wasn't a camera anomaly. It's a white spotlight. It's right there. All smoke and mirrors going on in space, right? Okay. All right. And I'm fake news, though, remember. I'm just conspiracy. I don't know nothing. We're all Hollywood around here, apparently. So that's all I needed to show you there. Now I want to move ahead. This is Jeff P. I guess it's off Lisa Elizabeth's channel. Let's just look at what he come out with. Hello, everyone. This is Jeff P. from the Beer Watcher channel. And I've got some big... News for you today that Project Bluebeam is here. Yeah, they've launched it in Massachusetts just last Thursday. Massachusetts last Thursday. Are you tracking with me? Project Bluebeam. Why would they do Project Bluebeam? Well, let's just watch. Let's jump into this. It's uh, pretty, you know, the whole theme of Project Bluebeam is to make you afraid. But I'm here to give you knowledge of why it's happening so you would not be afraid because knowledge is power. You betcha, you, Jeffy. You give it to him. Is that your photo? Wait, wait, wait. Weird. I can't even get it on my fucking camera. Is that your photo? Oh my god, I can see a little bit. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to get that thing. Oh shit. You think that? I'm corny. Oh my god. Folks, part of Project Bluebeam, they pretty much turned our skies into one big theater. Okay. And you guys got it. And now you know why back in time on my channel, I was showing you guys the dragon in Saudi Arabia. It was a 3D holographic light show within a theater. What do you guys see here? I see the moon pulsating white in symmetrical objects coming into place perfectly. Why? Because it's an electronic light show. Let's watch the rest of this little presentation. You'll understand. I need to, to see how the moon is pulsating. The light is changing. Everything is mechanical here that you're seeing. Let's watch. Okay. And that's what this video is to show you how this theater works. What's that Chinese ladder? Oh, my God. That's scary. Oh, my God. I'm going to move back. I'm going to get behind you guys. Hold on. Hold on. So imagine. <laughs> this is awesome. On the moon. 
on the electronic and mechanical device, probably sent up by SpaceX, is plotted right on the moon. Why don't we have one single camera on the moon that faces the Earth after all these years? Elon Musk comes out of nowhere on this planet, some super god of technology, just bypasses NASA altogether and goes to space. Chinese land there, yet they can't give us one camera that just faces the Earth 24 hours a day. They got to give us ISS and sensor. You can't put one camera on the moon and show the Earth in real time after all of this. Oh, it costs too much money. It's not scientific. It's You're full of crap. And you can see the light projection right there, caught in the act, moving down. Just imagine a mechanical, oot, oot. that's what you're seeing. Oot, oot. Epic. Scupto. The mind sees what the mind wants to see. Okay? The Matrix is going to speculate and say exactly what this is. He'll do the work for you. I'm going to stop the Matrix before the Matrix even tries to do what it thinks it's going to do. And it's got everything to do with what you see right here. This is epic footage. Well done. I can't really. Is that, is that it? Oh, there's lots of them in there. Oh, in the corner. Oh, my God. Okay, I see something. Oh, Somebody's I'm going to take the note. Oh, my God. I Look at the mechanical precision. Look at the spacing. It's perfect here, a little bit wider there. Do you guys see what you're seeing? Because I think I know exactly what you're going to see in the future, and I'm going to oust them trying to do it before it ever happens right now. What do you see? You see the moon and... I don't know, a bunch of spaceships. There's something in five of them. Ah. Let's take a look at this revelation. The Bride, the Beast, and Babylon. Let's see what they start off the show with. NASA is going to recreate the great sign in heaven using the moon to project the entire great sign in heaven above the moon. That is the start of the crown of 12 stars. They're testing the world to see, ladies and gentlemen. I give you conspiracy unveiled. It has to come from the moon because the great sign in heaven involves the moon at her feet. Ergo, you make a light show projected above the moon. The whole world sees a woman coming down from the heavens with a crown of 12 stars. Do you get it now? All in white. The world will never have a clue. The crown of 12 stars. The crown of 5 stars, soon to be 12. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I am busting that before it ever happens. Why would they do that? That's <laughs> exactly the best question, guys. That's why it was written in the damn stars in the first place, and the planet didn't know about it. Celestial bodies forever visible to the eye become obscured for these reasons. Body, forehead together. Meaning becomes invisible. As the sacred prayers diminish. The Great Deception is going to come in the form of a light show. You get it now? All I saw on YouTube are these so-called experts around the world trying to debunk the great sign in heaven, the same old conspiracy preachers that I see. This was mankind's only warning. It was all written in the stars. I will prove it to you to the day of the rapture. The point of this light show is to change the script, to make it look like it's still happening. They're falsely leading the world into a trap. Donald Trump, savior of the world, going to save the Jewish people, give them their temple. It's a bloody show, guys. It's all a lie. <laughs> I got to leave my show at that so people can share this message with the world. That's the beauty of the truth community, guys, and, and the free thinkers. I can't, you know, nobody can do it alone. It's why we, we all, you know, need it. It's everything. It's putting the pieces of the puzzle. Do you see how damning this is? And how damning this is? And how damning this is. Everything is, is by design. There's the good in this world trying to stop the evil before it ever happens. Do not even think about trying to project some light show to scare the hell out of this planet. Drive it into the hands of the false messiah. Do not. This isn't the light forces doing this. The benevolent species of the universe, they're not here to trick the human race. They're telling us that you guys are about to be deceived. Do you guys understand now? This woman freaking out and crying, not stopping to think, probably looking at the video. It's pretty symmetrical. Were these aliens doing ballet here? And it was all coming from the moon. The great sign in heaven, the moon at her feet, a projection going up into the sky from the moon. What you're seeing is the crown being formed, but it's ultimately going to be up here, my friends. Prophecy unveiled. Share this with your friends. I'd like the world to see this, because if we see some white creation, it has to be with the moon. I've always said that because the moon is at her feet, guys. The only way they can pull off this lie is using the moon. Billion people see this video. It'll never happen. 10,000 to wipe my channel, and the world still won't have a clue. That's the problem, guys. This world looking up to a savior and the signs that can easily be faked and easily be hidden. Ergo, the kingdom of God is inside you. Trust nothing in this world. Trust no one. Trust yourself. Guys, Donald Trump is the leader of the free world. Do you tell me that he doesn't know what's going on with the moon? The president, the man in charge, the leader of the free world. Not a clue that this light show is about to take place. Now listen to what Nostradamus had to say about Donald Trump. The trumpet, false, is concealing the madness. Donald J. Trump is at the head of this. You are the leader of your country. Nothing goes on in that moon without Donald Trump knowing about it. Now do you guys understand when I said that Satan has overrun the Vatican with the serpent churches? This is Petrus Romanus, Peter of Rome, the final pope. will betray Christianity into the hands of the false messiah. I'm calling it out, guys. I waited for the right time to make my move. Trump is false. He's concealing the madness. That's the madness that was just put out on TV, guys. Threatening nuclear war across the planet that's never going to happen. The benevolent species told us they can't use these nukes. But they can lead the world into a trap. It's a free will world. If you willingly go along with this garbage, they're the ones going to lead you to hell. It starts with the president and the pope. 
Now do you guys understand the significance? When I remote viewed Donald Trump's future, guys, the only guy in the world to foretell a woman that could take down the president in infidelity, and there she was a few weeks later. I saw the influence of the serpent, and I meant it. I'm not backing down from my claim. I saw what I saw. That's the severity and the implications of this light show going on in the moon and the great deception around the planet, ignoring the great sign in heaven, making it appear what they want it to appear, following a timeline that does not jive with God. The great sign in heaven was written in the stars. God is the universe. God is the stars. That is God's clock. It doesn't belong to NASA. You guys understand now? I get so mad. I keep things to myself till the right time. The Pope should have told the world about the great sign. When this fake one occurs, there'll be the Pope. In comes the fake Messiah that you've already betrayed Christianity to. You knew damn well God's true prophecy was written in the stars, guys. All of it, the return of Satan is exactly three and a half years later, and the rapture is exactly three and a years, three and a half years after that, to the day. Ergo, they lie about the great sign in heaven until they're ready to bring their guy down here. Then we'll put it out for the people to see. I am stopping this before it ever happens, guys. The bloody armada in space that doesn't exist, and I'm the crazy one, am I? Well, keep defending your president and your pope. We'll see what they do to you in the coming times. I told you nothing has changed in prophecy. I hope this sets home with people. Anybody can copy this video. I don't care who you are. Translate it into other languages so other people can see this. This is what I'm talking about getting the truth. Guys, Nostradamus foresaw this Antichrist. This is when he's struck down by God in the last days. I'm telling you, let's go to plan B and not let it ever come here in the first place because Earth is a free will zone. It will be our choice to bring these alien messiahs down here. Our leadership is going to lead us to hell. This is a serpent getting cast to the heavens. This will be exactly three and a half years after the great sign in heaven. This light show is the portent of things to come. Somebody is calling the shots on this planet, setting the world up for a fall, but then he's cast out of heaven, the way the Bible had said. You think you're going to get away with this. The world leaders go along with this plan, but then he's cast down here, and then hell on earth comes, because he knows his time is short. Stained with murder and enormous adulteries, great enemy of the human race, far worse than any of his like in the past. Fire, water, bloody and inhuman. Hellish. You get the damn truth, we can stop this from happening in the first place. You get it now? If the world willingly brings us hell onto Earth, it's its own fault. I'm telling you the benevolent species are here telling us we can stop this. It's up to us. It's our choice. Canada does not have access to space other than the Canada arm. If I find out Trudeau had a hand in this, I'll be held to pay. I told you guys, your leadership is responsible for everything in this world. This is how damning this footage is to the world. What do you think you're doing? The Bible told you to be a great deception, and it's going to start with the leadership of this world, and this is the best evidence I can give you guys. If your own countrymen are deceiving you, then you know where the problem lies. That light show better not appear anywhere on this planet again. That's what I'm telling people. That's why I said 10, 20,000 views on my videos won't change anything. Having a copy of this out ahead of time, before the great sign in heaven, uh, that'll change the world. Don't even think about it, Bopey. Don't. Petrus Romanus, the final pope. Peter was the first pope, the first head of Jesus' church. Denied Christ three times before the rooster crowed. It will happen twice. It is already happening now. They're going to put you in the hands of the false messiahs. They are the serpents, the shapeshifters. They've already overtaken the Vatican. Stop the Vatican. Stop Donald Trump. Stop NASA. Stop who you got to stop in this world. Knowledge is power. You've got the knowledge now. I make these claims, guys, I put my life on the line. It's not a baseless, moronic claim. You understand now? The truth shall set you free. So I love you lots. Nighty Beaver out. Take care.